job started out as a pair of hands. I mean, right now I'm not big as I used to be, but I was impressive enough to throw some bales, and you know, that's what it took. Anytime you do something for anybody and, and you're trusted, you always, you know, get bigger and better. And I bought my own boat, and then I was the captain, and it didn't take a license to haul pot, let's face it. I did everything. I load central lookout, uh, looking for that communications, uh, onload, offload, South America, just everywhere. It always changed. I run a boat into Columbia one time, and I, I ain't never been nowhere. Here I am, up down there in Columbia, hunting a load of pot. And a lot of times, you'd accidentally get two loads coming in the same night. That would be always, always confusing there. There was times when we got halfway in with a load, and we'd get a call on the radio that the load was ready out there. And we got the wrong one. In the beginning, they'd bring it right into the fish houses. They would just unload it right at the dock like it was nobody's business. But then, as people caught on, then they had to start sneaking it around a little bit. They'd go out to sea, pick up a couple thousand pounds, bring it into one of the islands, offload it, wash their boat, bring their boat right up to the trailer and put it in front of their house. We did anything and everything to get, get it through. We'd come in with airboats sometimes, come in with little boats. We'd take a, a motor home and take a chainsaw to it and cut the whole inside out of it where it'd hold more. We would do it in vans, pickup trucks. It got hot, we'd use Broncos, take the back seats out of Broncos. Anything it took. The load pot by the car loads would bring it right by that load out there. I should think that everyone would be aware of it. If he doesn't, he's blind. It's a small town. You knew everything. Everybody knew everything. Everybody knew what was happening in Everglades. The majority of the people in this area were in on it, OK? Because it was just a thing to do. You knew something was going on, but other times have changed. People didn't say too much back then. At least until, I guess, maybe everybody started getting a little money and then it started showing. Economically, the effect on the town is readily apparent to anyone who lived here just five years ago. Heavy gold jewelry has become a status symbol, along with the fastest cars and Jeeps that always have dark windows. And almost every house over there had some type of toy. This truck called a Little Red Wagon had just come out. There was about eight of them in this one little town. Something was out of balance over there. Everybody had toys. Four-wheelers, motorcycles, four-wheel drives, airboats. Seen new trucks, new vehicles, new houses. Money was flying. Oh, immediately it made idiots into millionaires. 